This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Elon Musk, is he really saving the world or is he really going towards the destruction of the human race? I have to start questioning this sometimes with this guy. I mean, this guy is promoting, in one hand, he's promoting, um, well, he's making these cars, right? That we don't know, you know, how they dispose of the batteries, what that's going to do to ground pollution. Yeah, you might be saving the air some pollution, but, and, you know, a little bit because it takes a lot of, uh, it takes a lot of energy to make um, electricity, you know, that doesn't come from nowhere. To, you know, that's a whole discussion. The batteries, they don't last for, you know, for that long. They start losing charge after a few years and you get less mileage, blah, 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 blah. And then he's also launching rockets into space, which that pollutes a lot, too. And and making these rockets pollutes a lot. It's very weird. It's interesting. But, you know, I think it's good to have options. You you know, have some electric cars, some, you know, gas, you know, and it's not free to charge a car, right? Anyways, now he's making robots, okay? Tesla is humanoid robot, building humanoid robots. This is going to be able to, like, build, you know, help build buildings and stuff like that. It's going to take away a lot of jobs. And this is a guy who preaches that, hey, we have to get ahead of AI because there's a bad part of it where it could take human jobs. And he's contributing to it. He seems like the good guy. But we've seen the iRobot movie. It looks like that's what he's building. Then he's doing the Neuralink. I'm starting to question everything what Elon Musk is doing, you know. But uh, I guess it's inevitable, but it seems like he's pushing it forward harder. And also, the thing that bothers me is he he worries about one thing and then does another, you know. Like, he is the problem. He's part of the problem. But he said he, I don't know. I used to really like everything he was doing with innovation and everything. Then I started like, mm, this is taking a weird turn. I think it started taking a weird turn three years ago, three or four years ago to me. Very smart and can solve a lot of problems, but at the same time, you can create more problems. Kevin Hart goes in on uh, Meek Mill. It looks like he's wearing a tennis ball, he says, as pants. <laughs> um, NBA young boy. It seems like he's dropping music soon. And he's recording in jail. It's very interesting. His fans love him, man. They really support him. It's pretty good to see, you know, because I like it when someone can build a fan base that actually supports them. You know, that's it's good to see. And it shows that he's touching a lot of people. Uh, the weekend buys a $70 million house. Jeez. I mean, that is a lot of house. For someone that's on the road all the time. And think, think about maintaining this. I mean, Rick Ross got his house for $5 million. It's bigger than this with a pool. He got it at auction because nobody wanted... Nobody wants a house that big with that much land. Because anybody who's owned a house, right, knows that it costs a lot of money to upkeep the landscape upkeep the house itself there's always repairs i don't care what size house you have there's always roof uh there's things break pipes uh, you got to think about everything that can break even the 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 gauges that let the the water out the faucet those can break i've had a house for a little while now and trust me <laughs> it's all it's constant constant maintenance and my house is newer on the newer side and it's still just constant stuff that you can fix. Um, anyways, he's rich. He, I, I'm sure he can afford it. The house is definitely going to cost him like a couple hundred thousand a year to maintain, though. Then you got Suge Knight. Uh, Cameron remembers a time when Suge Knight pressed him. So I think it's Cameron's second album or third album. He, he does the... He samples, he uses a Tupac beat that um, Daz Dillinger made. And Daz Dillinger actually came and remade it. So Suge Knight saw him at a party. He's like, hey, what's up, man? And, you know, Cameron was talking to him. And then he's like, yo, you owe me some money. And he's like, uh, for what? And he's like, for that Tupac beat. He's like, nah, I had Daz Dillinger remake it. He's like, nah, I want money off that. And then Cameron said, well, you ain't getting a dollar from it. So what's good? 
and Suge respected that and just said, no, no, I'm just, you know, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Suge is like weird. (laughs) 50 Cent talks about BMF. People are trying to say it's going to be glorifying like the streets and drug and gang culture. Well, (laughs) What? Well, come on, man. Why are people so worried about everything? You know, it's not glory. It, it, it's already been glorified. It's glorified every day in music. He denies that it's going to glorify that. It's just telling a story that involved that kind of stuff. Okay. But it also has a uh, message at the end that it was it all worth it. I mean, Big Meech has been in jail for what, seven, 16, 17 years now? Was it worth it? Was it worth all those years of being on top and making money that way? And then it lands you in jail for, you know, he's supposed to be in jail to what, 20, 30 now? So it's like, what, 20, you lose 25, 26 years? I mean, he even preaches himself that it's, it's, it wasn't worth it. You know, it was good times and everything, but it's like, dude, I, I lost 25 years of my life. He couldn't see his kids grow. His kids playing him in a movie right now. I mean, in the series. It's like... It's just not worth it, man. So I think it really has a a positive twist to it where it can make someone rethink going a certain route. Well, Amber Rose says, my agent just called me and the walk of 2020 was on. It's like a woman empowerment walk that she does. Live Nation's going to be uh, hosting it. Bigger and better than ever. All righty. Nicki Minaj and uh, Kenneth Petty, her husband, uh, they're going to court over um, his... He shouldn't have to be considered an offender because he says his name was forged or his signature was forged. Claims name was forged. So back in the day, he was accused of like holding a woman against her will and, you know violating her right and he copped out when he was young i mean he was young he was like what uh i think he was 18 17 18 somewhere in there probably didn't have good representation and i'm not saying he was right or wrong i'm just saying he maintains he was never given a chance to oppose the risk level assigned him because he's now he has to register as an offender everywhere he claims he was incarcerated for manslaughter at the time they used to, oh yeah that's what happened he also took someone's life right so he went to jail for that and wasn't able to defend himself on this so he alleges the notice of his court hearing was sent to the wrong address and someone forged a signature before the hearing um that jeez Kenneth Petty was also labeled a two level two offender his name was placed on the registry for the last 25 years, and it's affected everything. I mean, look what he's going through now. Uh, he was attempting to pressure her into recanting her offer of 500000 so he could have this his name removed. That's what they're claiming, that woman's claiming. Uh, Hugh claimed that Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj have been torturing her for years by bombarding her with multiple phone calls. So that's all going to court, man. This is It's just nasty. But, uh... Hey, I don't know what's right. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who's right, who's wrong. I don't know. You know, we're just. I'm just telling you what's going on. Okay, I'm not taking a stance on anything because uh, this is just weird. The whole thing is just spooky. Um, let's see what else is going on out here. Pop Smoke, uh, a close someone uh close to him said there's little to no music left according to his best friend i mean that makes sense and you know what it's good they got it all out and we're able to capitalize off it because if they drop it like two or three years later i don't know if people will care you know people move on after a while right now people will support it and it will generate enough money for his family to be okay and that's probably what he wants more than anything you know um that's why he was doing it for himself and his family anyways guys that's basically what's going on this morning i appreciate you guys for tuning in supporting smashing that like button sharing all that stuff's important make sure you guys leave comments below i read all the comments uh work hard today stay positive keep moving forward and 
don't let anybody stop you or get in your path and even if you're feeling down and the things are going aren't going right right now make sure you just power through that because life has a way of just changing if you just keep giving it another chance and putting good energy out there and putting that work in you know things can turn around faster than you think i've been in bad situations and a few months of hard work can really make things to start changing for the better and once they do remember those hard times and keep your foot (laughs) on the pedal okay stay disciplined and keep working even when you don't want to work you know people like to have this balance between you know living life and work but If you don't work, you don't have money. And without money, you can't live life. You can't have freedoms to say no to things and do what you want. You know, you got to have you got to maintain that freedom. It's a freedom to have a job and make money. It's that's a freedom, you know, because without it, you're at other people's whim, man. It's just it's a it's not a good feeling (laughs) to be relying on other on others you want to be able to rely on yourself all right guys well you guys have a great start to your day i appreciate you so much and i'll check you guys in the next one remember it's going to all be all right it's all going to work out you just got to keep on going keep moving forward and making better choices right your wrongs realize where you made bad decisions and don't do it again don't keep loaning that person money that doesn't pay you back and don't allow people to put you in a bad position I'll check you guys later. Peace.